When we believe in that whole construct about time is money and you gotta chase a bag, you going in a loop and you're putting yourself in a cycle. You go to work, go get a bag, you put a whole bunch of extra work into the pay that you want, but the pay that you want is not the pay that you get. But you put it in all this hard work and all this hard labor for a few pennies. So that mind uh, conditioning doesn't really work because you chasing after something that you don't even believe that you deserve. Something that doesn't really align with you. I'm not knocking a nine to five, but if that's what suffice right now, okay, cool. I know people going through whatever they going through, but you don't have to stress out and overwork yourself harder than you actually have to. Money is an energy, it's a frequency that one must vibrate at. And if you go into work and you keep on complaining about your job, you're not happy, you're not satisfied, but you're still getting good benefits and you're still getting the pay that'll help you pay for your bills and stuff like that, but you're not really happy, of course you're not going to get the dream that you're trying to attract because you're not happy. If you're not happy, you're not showing gratitude for the things that you already have. In order to attract the things that you want, you have to show gratitude for the things that you already have. In order for new things to manifest that you want to bring into your life. Everything is literally energy. You can have anything that you want, anything. You can do anything that you want. You can be anything you wanna be. I feel like people chase after the wrong things. When I say the wrong things, I'm talking about the wrong things that aren't gonna get them the thing that they really want overall. If you chase after your purpose, the money will come. Do what aligns with you, not with what you see and, and hear what society tells you to do. Like once you align with the purpose that you came here to fulfill, everything will fall into play because not only are you now happy, but you're showing gratitude for the things that you are facing. You're showing gratitude for the things that coming into your life. You're showing gratitude for any and all circumstances that you're in because you're now walking and aligning into your purpose. You don't have to, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta hurry up. I gotta meet these deadlines. You don't have to do that. Aligning in your path is like all these different doors are not opening up for you. Time is money is an illusion. Time is not money. It is a frequency that one must vibrate at do it by actually genuinely being happy with what you do if time was money let's say this i give you a billion dollars today and you gone out of here tomorrow hmm you see what i'm saying you can't take the money with you time is money no it's not that's some bs reprogram your mind and stop getting stuck into thinking about the past and dwelling on the future if you stop focusing on the end goal of the thing that you're trying to align with or your purpose that you're trying to align with and focus on the present and do everything that you would do as if you already had the thing that you was trying to attract. Deprogram what we was taught to believe and reprogram what we now know. That whole time is money. It makes people rush and go get it. It makes people fear. Oh, well, how am I going to pay my bills? I got to go get it or I will get it. How am I going to get it? Well, you got to do this, that, and the other. Then you create all these different scenarios about how it's going to happen. And what you going to do when you get it. Instead of actually living in the now. Be in the present moment. And it will come so much faster. And this is like the biggest key that you can use in manifestation. I want to slap whoever rolled up on that, okay? Because that's some BS. But yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this whole time is money construct because it makes no sense. <laughs> it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense at the same time. I want to do more conscious content and share my thoughts that may expand others' horizon. That's the purpose of this YouTube channel. So I'll see y'all next time. Peace and abundance, peace and chaos.